This is very different. Very, very different. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing something very fun just a heads up if you're new to my channel my name is Ronke I mostly do beauty lifestyle videos so stay tuned for love and for I have no clue why I'm doing this so, <laughs> I've always made it known over the years that I love Fenty Beauty they are one of my favorite brands and now we're about to release the hydrating foundation on August 15th and when I first saw that they were making a hydrating foundation, I was really excited. Matte foundation I use during more during summer because it's you know my skin is more supple and during winter I don't really use it as much. So this is going to be perfect, and I really hope that it works out for me. Just a bit of background on my skin, I have combination skin there are some areas that are drier than others sometimes my nose and my t-zone gets oily a little bit i don't have a huge problem with oil I asked you guys on my instagram what you guys would want to know about the foundation um, a lot of you guys were talking about the coverage the long wearingness the pigmentation um, mostly people with oily skin wanted to know if they're going to be able to use they it sent me four of the foundations so i have 385 420 430 and 450 so it is a pretty good range with a tube that has a pump most of the time I'm 420 so you can see that there's a bit of range between them 450 430 420 385 I think I'm probably a mix between 385 and 420 but I think I can get away with wearing just 420 grab a wipe <laughs> Now that's my whole house is overrun with wipes. They also came out with a new primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. It says that the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer has instant hydration, soft silk, soft, soft silk, <laughs> soft silk finish, and a filter-like effect. And because the primer it extends makeup wear, right now it's drying down pretty nice it is a little bit tacky not too tacky but it's a little bit tacky which is good for primer to be tacky anyway it means that it's going to really hold that foundation i usually color correct but i'm not going to color correct today I also released a new foundation brush it's the 115 foundation brush wow nice soft bristle looking brush i just feel like this is about to be one of my favorite brushes because just it feels great for foundation I pump the foundation on my face blend it all out and then figure out everything from there it's very skin like like as I blended it it almost just melted into my skin. foundation basically they say that it's serving hydrating medium to full coverage with a natural finish so perfect for normal to dry skin Perfect for me because I love anything hydrating. My skin without foundation, this is my skin with foundation. So you can see that it really just looks so luminous. Like it has a very luminous finish. The blemishes I have naturally, I want to see how it covers that. So I'm going to start off with 385 first and add some 420. My blemishes have been covered by the foundation. What I feel is the difference between this foundation and the other one they have. Regular foundation has more of like a soft matte feel, so it's not exactly 100% matte, but this one definitely is more hydrating. So if you're more on the drier side, this is gonna be a perfect foundation for you, I can already tell. If you're more on the oily side, I think that the soft matte foundation will be good for you. However, you can use this foundation, you just have to set it properly. Very nice, it makes my skin look very healthy. I'm gonna do my complexion routine as, norm as I normally would, and then I will come back, and then we'll do the wear test. Beat. Wow. <laughs> Stop. 
Stop it. Are you looking at me? Stop looking at me. Don't look at me. I'm actually in love with this foundation. It doesn't, it looks exactly like my skin and it makes my highlight pop. Now, the thing is, I wish I had tried it without as much powder, but I guess that would be great for me to show you guys how it would be on oily skin or how you should set it on oily. Sorry, I'm just like really feeling this eye look, so I just keep squinting. It's just amazing. Um, I made it a lot, so I baked for quite some time while I was doing the eye look. So if you have oily skin and this works for me, if I do the wear test, I will suggest you do the same thing and you can wear the foundation. I've, I basically put on the foundation around 12. So from 12, I think we should do from 12 to 12 if I can make it to 12 o'clock without sleeping. Okay, let's not do 12 to 12. I don't think I can make it to 12 a.m. Just gonna give you guys a bit of a close up so you can see how nice it looks. It's definitely full coverage. But... Don't try this at home. I have now worn this foundation for 24 hours, now 12.30ish, and the foundation is still on. The art of sleeping with my face up, and TBH, I actually did not expect to sleep in the makeup. Don't sleep in your makeup, it is not the best. I'm actually about to do a face mask right now. I usually get oily a little bit in the morning, like right here, oil on my cheeks. If you have oily skin, you'll be like, which oil what are you talking about but <laughs> I have like I said my t-zone is a little oily so there is a little bit of oil here everything else is still intact my smile lines came through a little bit but obviously this is 24 hours later who really wears foundation for 24 hours anyway you know what I mean so I just did this wear test just so you guys can really see how it anywhere wears that out. is wrinkled the wrinkles have come out like my smile lines you know normal makeup stuff but it is a very long wearing for it to still be on Think about it if i really wanted to go out today and i hadn't like because i've kind of uh, removed a little bit of mascara from my lashes but if i really wanted to go out today you think that i couldn't just like touch this up and just leave the house i could i said it very very well you could tell that i you know baked for quite some time so that's also what i felt like added to the longevity if you have oily skin you can use this you just have to set it very well do you think the foundation was durable i think it was what do you guys think this is like a very extreme close-up let me know down below if you're gonna try this foundation and what other videos or foundation videos do you guys want to see from me and i'll see you guys later bye